welcome to Master Sports with Professor Roger. I'm Professor Roger. Today's lesson is in specialization of labor. So everyone back in the day was a hunter gatherer. One day someone was like, hey, I'm fed up with this. I'll do all the hunting. Steve, you do all the gathering. And they had way more food that way. When people were able to focus on just doing one thing, there was enough food for people to do other jobs. Like you go invent stuff and he would come back later and he'd invent the wheel and then you, you make videos about sports. And that was like the fourth job they came up with. It was hunting, gathering, inventing the wheel, and videos about sports. So that's how I got this job, because of specialization of labor. Which brings us to Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, drafted ninth overall by the Oakland A's last year. That's a baseball team, and they agreed to pay him $4 million. Also very good at football, won the Heisman Trophy, and this week, he's declaring for the NFL Draft. He tweeted it. Can we take a closer look at that Twitter avatar? Can we just zoom in a little bit? Yeah, it's really nice. You know, it looks familiar. Kyler Murray's Twitter avatar is the, uh, the art from this article we published on TheRinger.com. Can we look at who wrote that? Oh, oh yeah, I wrote that. My point is, when Kyler Murray has an important decision to make, he turns to me. But some might wonder, why does Kyler Murray have to choose between baseball and football? You know, he's great at both of them. He even took this picture of him in football pads wearing a baseball bat. It's an obvious homage to about 30 years ago, Bo Jackson won the Heisman at Auburn. And Bo Jackson managed to play both sports. He made the MLB All-Star team in 1989. He made the Pro Bowl in 1990. He was incredible at both. So why doesn't Kyler Murray do that? Over the years, there have been 70 players who have played both Major League Baseball and NFL. Almost all of the players all time to play in both Major League Baseball and the NFL happened before 1940. This was like the hunter-gatherer era of sports. The last person to actually play both sports in the same season was Deion Sanders. It's been over 20 years since he did that. The fact that Deion Sanders was able to play baseball and football at the same time and be successful at both is a miracle. First of all, he was lucky enough that he was on both the Atlanta Falcons and the Atlanta Braves, both in the same city. And even then, it was basically impossible. He couldn't really go to practices during baseball season, so they gave him something called cat coverage, which is, you see the cat wearing 81? You guard him. And there was no other strategy involved because he did not know the game plan. He just did one specific thing. And he was such an incredible athlete that he was still great at it. But that doesn't explain why this has gotten rarer over time. What does is the change in salaries. If you look here, uh, average NFL salaries over time, they've gone up a lot. <laughs> even adjusting for like how much money normal people make, which has stayed still pretty low. Let's look at Deion Sanders' salary. Deion Sanders played 14 NFL seasons. His career earnings were $33 million. Let's compare that to a salary from nowadays. Let's look at Jameis Winston's rookie contract. After next year, in just five seasons, he'll have made more money than Deion Sanders, one of the greatest players of all time. And I bring this up because Jameis Winston also is pretty good at baseball. In Florida State, he was a pitcher. He had a 1.08 ERA. That's really low. And he said it was one of his dreams to play both baseball and football professionally, but he didn't because he made the NFL. He was the number one overall pick and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers put a clause in his contract saying he could never play baseball and he signed it. It makes sense for teams to say, we're putting this massive investment in you. You can't spend several months a year playing another sport, which brings us back to Kyler Murray. He's got a decision to make, football or baseball. We could really do an entire Master Sports episode about which one makes sense. But luckily, Kyler Murray, as we know from this Twitter avatar, listens exclusively to me. And I've already told him everything he needs to know, which is that he's way better at football, he's gonna make a lot more money, and uh, football is just generally cooler and better in every way than baseball. Anyway, that's Master Sports. Thanks for watching, bye.